having a finger on the pulse of the times while still thinking a step ahead. That's what Paper World is all about. This is the best way to equally guarantee both the visitors and the exhibitors the greatest possible benefits. We now want to talk about how to successfully achieve this and why all of the major manufacturers are once again using Paper World as a platform this year. With me, Cordelia von Gümnisch, Department Manager at Messe Frankfurt, Horst Werner Meyer-Hunker and Rolf Schifferens, both chairman of the PBS Industry Association. Thank you for joining me. Mr. Maya Hunka, why is Paper World 2015 an attractive opportunity for many major brands? One major reason is that we did not attend once and discovered that we have to come back again. That was an important point because I attended as a visitor and simply did not feel as comfortable being just a spectator. <laughs> but seriously, we need Paper World, of course, because we create many new products and because we have an international marketplace. This primarily applies to the major brands who not only market their products in Germany, but above all throughout Europe. This is the key point. Naturally, we have developed a lot of new products in the last two years, and now we want to present them all here. How exactly do the exhibitors benefit from Paper World? You cannot express the benefits in monetary terms, but naturally we can express our impressions. After the first day, I have noticed that there are a lot of international visitors here this year, who did not attend last year. I have noticed that the visitors' flow functions well, and I have also seen that all of the exhibitors have made an effort to present themselves differently and, astonishingly enough, with a new look. Mrs. von Gümnisch, that was some very good initial feedback from Mr. Meyer Hunker. Just what has Messe Frankfurt done to draw the major brands back here to Frankfurt? Firstly, we listened. What do the brands need? What do they want from us? What should we change in comparison to past trade fairs? Then we had this idea for the area reserved exclusively for the brands belonging to the association. Only they can present here this year. In addition, the flexibility that we offer for the coming years and the cooperation with the industry's work group, which advised us, along with the accompanying events up to and including the design of this entire area here. Mr. Schifferens, what can you say about the work group's results? We have to say that we carried out an in-depth analysis. We analyzed what Messe Frankfurt has done and also what the industry has done. As a result, we came to the conclusion that we had to consult with each other and cooperation. This idea was readily welcomed, both here at the Messe and also by the industry associations. That happened very quickly, and I think that we have achieved very, very good results in a very short time. We have also implemented what was possible, and you truly have to say that when you see the hall layout now, it is almost perfect. This does not mean that there is no more room for improvement, but we will find out where during the course of the trade fair. What will our customers have to say, and what will the manufacturer say? Then, we will have to consider this and come to conclusions. The response from the manufacturers is a good point. What about the response from the visitors? We have an extensive supporting program. We are located near the Plaza Academy. What do the visitors have to say about the supporting program? Today, visitors definitely need products and news, but also content and networking. That is what we are trying to do here. We have created focus days. Sunday focuses on the Internet. Monday addresses the question of what the industry will look like in the future. Tuesday will look at sustainability issues, provide a lot of content and also the opportunity to network. We will know how the visitors responded to all of this on the final day after we have analyzed the visitor statistics. Mr. Maya Hunka, if we look at the state of the industry, how is the PBS industry doing at the moment? And how important is it for the brands to be present here in Frankfurt in particular? I talked about this at the industry press conference this morning. I explained that the industry, or at least the manufacturers, had a good year in 2014. We generated growth, and actually more growth, than the market was actually supposed to be capable of. More growth than the retail industry had. That is good. But the year also showed that many of the brands have expanded and stabilized their international business in a number of countries, despite the difficult situation. Mr. Schifferens, let's look at the future. What does the future have in store for Paper World? 
I would like to emphasize that my experiences on the first day make me even more confident. As was said, we will have to wait and see how the various parties respond. I think that it is important, as Mrs. von Gümnisch said, for us to offer even more benefits in addition to presenting products. We will see how that goes. Naturally, the visitors first have to experience this themselves and form their own opinion. We have to continue with this idea. I think that it is a feasible and sustainable concept. We have to expand on this, attract even more visitors and brands, but that is the job of the trade fair and, in this case, the job which the industry associations always have. In other words, we have to build on the results that we have after the trade fair. We will simply have to get together and continue with what we have started. Mr. Maya Hunke, you just nodded. What is your vision of Paper World? Well, I have always been a major advocate of Paper World, and I have been attending for almost 35 years. I have experienced all of Paper World's variations. I think that we have now reached a point which is sensible, but this needs more than just initiative on the part of the trade fair. I am saying this intentionally. We also need initiative from the manufacturers. It cannot succeed without both. Both have to work on the future. We have appointed our employees for the work group to ensure that things make progress and the trade fair has done the same. I have never seen as much movement as in the last two years. It was as though they have had the right therapy and I think that is good. If this continues, then I believe that Paper World has a solid future. Let's take a quick survey of the illustrious group. Mr. Schifferens, what's your personal highlight at the trade fair and what are you looking forward to in the next few days? I was very happy about the Product of the Year Award. This is highly important for us and also has an effect on the entire industry. For me personally, this is also a matter of the effect of the company. I'm very interested in sustainability issues, so the way we have highlighted the issue this year and last year as well, that is my personal highlight, alongside the many products which I would like to look at. Mr. Maya Hunke? Well, I am not quite as industry-oriented. I look at my company and we have developed a lot of products. That's something which we are very proud of. We have a lot of visitors, we have new products, we have innovations. These are the things which distinguish an entrepreneur who wants to succeed here at the trade fair. A little advertising at the trade fair is essential. Mrs. von Gümnisch has the last word. For me, the highlight is the impressive investment and the impressive commitment among the industries here in this market hall. It's inspiring to see what the companies have achieved here and how they have contributed to making the Paper World Plaza concept a success. Thank you for the interview. I wish you all a successful week at the Paper World 2015.